Here's the Python program. I'm going to open up a class file that I have open, and it's called, there it is, ymc.py. That's my guy. I click on open, and give it a second. Here it comes. Now, it's got some function, some methods in here already. But this is the one I'm interested in. I created a class called class, KLZ, colon. And I have a special init function here. How do I use this? Well, this is what I'm going to do in the idle interpreter. I'm going to call class, which is in the ymc.py file. I'm going to import it, and then I'm going to say a is equal to ymc.klz. I'm going to pass it the value of 5. But wait a minute. How can I do that? I don't have parentheses here to catch that variable, that, uh, that value. It, and that's because it won't get caught here. It gets caught in the init function here within parentheses. The second guy over here, that value R, self is internal. It's used by class. You don't call class with self in your arguments. You don't see the word self in here. You can't do that. You pass it a value, it's getting put into this guy here, that parameter, the next one after self. Okay, so I, 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 t I go to YMC, CA, <laughs> YMC, YMC, that class, I pass it a 5, it gets caught here. Now, the system instantiates this class and assigns it to A. But within A, what has happened? Well, what happens in the init function? Self.R equals R. So that 5 is now associated with the instantiated object A. It will have, A will have an R property. So if you can a dot r, you're going to get a 5. It took that 5 that it caught and put it into here, which gets put into here. And that's associated with the instantiated object. Ah. Okay. So we'll be able to do that then. That's super duper interesting. All right. Let's, let's actually do this. File and save. I'm going to minimize that. I might need it later if I've got errors. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that file, ymc. That's the file that contains my klz class function, my uh, the klz class definition. All right. So import ymc. Done. Now I'm going to take the letter A. I'm going to say that is equal to YMC. Go to YMC.KLZ. Pass that guy a 5. And notice the letter R comes up. So that R is going to be associated with A as a property. So I pass it the value 5. I hit enter. Now, A and a dot. I should see an R pop up there, and there it is. Tap twice. Now, when I hit enter, I'll lay dollars to donuts. I get a five here. Here we go. Bingo. Done. All right. That's cool. Now, I'm going to take the letter B. I'm going to say that is equal to, I'm going to call ymc.klz. I'm going to pass this guy. The value 7. Boom. Done. If I key in b.r, 
I'm going to get a 7. I got two of these guys. Let's add them up. Let's C is equal to A dot R plus B dot R. 5 and 7 should give me a 12. I should get a 12 in C. Let's print out what's in C. And we get a 12. Wow. Amazing. Simply amazing. And that's about all I have to say for now. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.